Once upon a time, there were three sisters, Devetta, Petra, and Simona. The girls lived at home with their mother, but as they grew from young girls to young ladies, their childhood home became too small for them. My dear girls, the time has come for you to make your way in the world. I am gifting you all one bag of gold coins each. You may spend the money whichever way you like, but if you are wise like your dear father was, you will use it to build a new home for yourselves. The girls kissed their mother goodbye, and with their money in their pockets, they set out to find a new place to call home. Before long, the sisters came across a clearing in a forest, where there was room enough for three houses to be built. Devetta, who was the oldest girl, looked around her excitedly. Look at all this wood! She ran from tree to tree, imagining how her house would look, made from these fine branches. But Devetta, replied Simona, the youngest sister, a house made from branches won't be very strong. You will have to repair it every time there is a storm. Devetta shrugged. Yes, but it will cost me nothing but my time, as I can take all the wood from the forest. That will leave me money to buy some fine clothes and the best horse I can find. Oh, how popular I will be! So Devetta set about gathering sticks and twigs from the forest with which to build her home. Even though her sisters thought it was a bad idea, they helped her because that's what sisters do. And before too long, Devetta had her own house. It stood in the clearing and even Simona had to agree that it was a fine-looking house. Having finished Devetta's house, Petra started looking around for materials with which to build her home. Devetta had taken much of the wood, so Petra decided that she would make hers using the straw and grass which covered the forest floor. When Devetta saw her younger sisters on their hands and knees collecting grass, she laughed at them. Grass isn't going to be strong enough for a house. Mine is made of wood, so it will be sturdy and strong. One puff of wind and the whole thing will come crashing down. Petra looked up at her sister. But my house will be lovely and warm, as the grass will fill all of the gaps. Your house made of wood will let the cold and rain in. She looked about her, noticing that the sun was going down. Are you going to help us build my house? Devetta shook her head. No, I am going to the market to buy the most magnificent horse I can find, and some beautiful clothes to wear. Build your own house. And with that, she took her bag of money that her mother had given to her and set off in the direction of the town. Simona sighed. It was getting dark, and she hadn't even started on her own house. She and Petra worked hard to complete the house made of grass and hay, and finally, in the light of the moon, Petra's house was complete. I will have to sleep in your house tonight, Petra, said Simona. It is dark now, and I need to buy materials for my own house. So we will get a good night's sleep and we can go together in the morning to buy some bricks. But Petra shook her head. There's no room in my house for you. I built a nice small house so that there is only room for me. That way, nobody can come into my house and eat my food and drink my water. Simona was amazed. She had spent all day collecting wood for Devetta's house and grass and straw for Petra's house. And now that she needed somewhere to sleep, her sister wouldn't let her in the house that she had helped to build. Then I shall wait for Devetta to return. But when Devetta returned many hours later, she wasn't alone. Riding a beautiful white horse, Devetta was accompanied by two other people. And all three of them were wearing very fine clothes indeed. These are my friends, Simona. I met them in the town. Don't they look smart in the clothes I bought for them? Now, it's time to sleep. See you in the morning. And with that, Devetta closed her front door with her new friends inside and left Simona standing all alone outside. Simona looked all around her, but there was no wood left to build a shelter and no grass or straw with which to make a bed. So Simona lay down on the hard ground and despite her being cold and uncomfortable, fell into a deep sleep because she had worked so hard helping her sisters. Still, tomorrow would be a good day as she would take her sisters with her to the market to buy the bricks she needed to build her own house. The next morning, Simona woke early, 
just as the sun was rising. She called out to Petra and Devetta, hoping to get an early start. When there was no answer at Petra's house, Simona went to Devetta's house and knocked on the door. Her sister answered and told Simona that Petra had already left for the market to buy herself some fancy new furniture and to see if she too could find some friends. Simona was annoyed with her sister. She needed her help and now it would just be herself and Devetta left to buy the things she needed to build her house. But Devetta had other plans. My good friend here, and she gestured to one of the people she had brought back with her the night before, needs some money to buy a cow so that she can sell milk at the market. So I am going with her to help. After all, I chose the best horse, so I will also choose the best cow. Behind Devetta, Simona could see the two new friends laughing as they weighed up Devetta's money bag. Devetta, you need to hold on to some of your money so that you can buy food to keep you through the winter. But Devetta laughed at her younger sister. My new friends will share their wealth with me when they sell their milk. Besides, if I don't give them the money, they will go and choose a new friend, and I will be alone. Can I at least borrow your horse so that I can make the journey there and back a little easier? But again, Devetta shook her head, and Simona set off alone towards the market. Simona worked hard all day and had to make many journeys to the market. Luckily, a local farmer took pity on the girl and lent her his horse and cart to carry the bricks. But she still needed to go back and forth many times. When, finally, she had all of her bricks in the forest, Simona asked her sisters to help her build it. But Devetta was busy having fun with her new friend. Simona turned to Petra. No, I can't possibly help you. I will ruin my new clothes. Simona looked at her sister. Why can't you wear the clothes that mother made for you? Petra laughed. Those old rags. I threw those away. Simona felt sad as she worked all by herself, building her house. Her mother had made their clothes with love, and yet both Devetta and Petra had swapped them for fancy new clothes without a thought for home. It took Simona many days to build her house. Every time she asked her sisters for help, they refused. You should have made your house out of wood from the forest, like me. Then you would be finished by now, said Devetta. Maybe if you had used grass and straw like me, you would have money to buy a bed and some chairs instead of sleeping on the ground, sneered Petra, as she relaxed on the wooden chairs she had bought with her money. But Simona took no notice, and day after day she worked hard, and as the walls of her brick house grew higher and higher, the weather turned colder and colder until one day her house was finished. Simona stood inside her new home and felt satisfied. She had no furniture, but she intended to grow vegetables outside that she could sell at the market, which would give her the money to buy nice new things for her house. But for now, it didn't matter. She had a strong roof over her head. The rest could come in time. A few days later, Simona heard a commotion and poked her head out of the window. The cow that Devetta had bought for her friend had broken loose from the rope that tied her to a tree and had stumbled into the wooden house, sending it crashing to the ground. Not one twig was left standing. And before Devetta could say, Oh no! Her new friends had taken off with the clothes and the cow she had bought for them. Of course, Simona let her older sister stay with her, because that's what sisters do. A week passed, and the weather grew even colder, until one night it started to rain. Simona awoke to a knocking on her door. Petra was standing outside, soaked to the skin as she explained that the rain had washed her house away, and with it, all her fancy furniture so Simona opened her door wider and let her in, because that's what sisters do. As the winter turned to spring, Simona's crops began to grow, and before long she had a field full of vegetables, with more than enough to sell. But Devetta and Petra refused to help harvest the crops, because they had grown accustomed to living the good life, with their fine clothes and furniture, and they left all the work to their little sister. One day, as the spring turned to summer, Devetta and Petra came home from the town to find their clothes in a pile where their houses had once stood. 
Have you lost your mind, Simona? Demanded Devetta. Our clothes could have been stolen. Now stop being silly and let us in. But Simona refused. I told you to make the most of the money that Mother gave to us. I told you to build a worthy house. But you wanted to spend it all on false friends and fancy things. Neither of you would help me to build my house or pick my vegetables, and I had to take them all to market myself. But you still wanted to share in my home and food. I let you stay with me during the winter because that's what sisters do. But now that the weather has changed for the better, it is time for you to make your own homes once more. I have done well selling my crops and have saved enough to match the money that mother gave to you. Once again, you have the choice. Use the money to build a brick house or build a free house that won't last the winter. But let me tell you this, dear sisters, hard work and patience will always pay off. Spend your money wisely, for you will not get any more help from me. Of course, they grumbled and complained, but neither of them wanted to be without a house again. So they used their money to buy bricks, and they spent the summer building beautiful, solid houses. Do you think Simona helped them? Of course she did, because that's what sisters do.